This is going to be an amazing, amazing call. So we are going to get started and um, I'm going to just take a moment. I'm going to introduce our special guest speaker. And like I say, I've had the pleasure of spending the last few days with this amazing man here in Nairobi, Kenya. He came in um, specifically to do a medical symposium for all of the health professionals in Kenya. We just launched in the Kenya market um, just over a week ago and uh, just two weeks ago, I guess now exactly two weeks ago. And so um, Professor Oshinabi came all the way from Nigeria to really educate our health professionals. He's, he's one of the most credentialed people that I know. My, my name is Anne Turnbull. I'm from Canada. And I'm really, really happy to be here hosting this call because it's very important information that everyone needs to know. Now, Prof is someone who has way more science than I do. And I would venture, I guess, that maybe um, a bit more science than most of us on the call. So what you're going to hear tonight is going to be incredible. And what it's meant to give you is a sense of confidence that the products that you are using and recommending to others, uh, you can be very, very confident that they are backed by incredible science, that they are uh, the most high quality products and that they actually are extremely, extremely effective and backed by a lot of research. Now, Prof is going to do a deep dive. I'm going to give you his credentials in a moment. But for the rest of us as associates, or even as guests listening in, this does not mean that we have to speak about our products in this way. This is a special training specifically for those who want a deeper dive into the science and products um, that we offer. We have regular product and business presentations all the time with a little bit less science, a little bit less depth. So this is a chance for anyone who would like that extra level of detail, that extra science, that extra confidence, just to get uh, more understanding and deeper understanding. And of course, for our health professionals, I am not a health professional, by the way. I am a business a businesswoman. I have a background in the corporate world, in sales and marketing and consulting with very large companies. But I love what we have to share with our products. And it's given me a lot of joy, a lot of passion, a lot of purpose to be able to be involved with this great company, to be able to impact lives and to be able to make a difference for so many people. And so our special guest tonight, let me just read a few of his credentials because when you understand how much um, knowledge, how much experience this man has, oh my goodness, I'm just, I'm just, for me, I'm excited. I even get to be his friend. I get to be in the same room with him. I get to be on the same call. So Professor Oshinabe is a medical professor. He has 35 years of medical practice behind him. He is a fellow of the American College of Endocrinology and four other medical fellowships. He's a professor of anatomy and he's published over 120 scientific papers. Now, if that weren't enough, and I think we'll all agree that is a heavy, heavy, heavily credentialed uh, medical person. He is also executive director of the University of Lagos Business School. So I am so excited to welcome the very, very highly esteemed by me and by all of us, Professor Abraham Oshinabi. Prof, you are very welcome. It's a pleasure to have you on the call tonight. I'm going to have you start your video and then I will turn the call over to you. Amazing. Here you are. Okay. Hello. And thank you for that introduction. And good evening to all our viewers and listeners. And probably good afternoon. And probably also good morning, wherever you may be. So let's quickly go into the subject of the day is going to be a little bit of science and not too advanced science anyway so that all of us can actually go along with it so let's quickly uh, uh, i always want to start with this in the very beginning of existence uh, let me minimize everything i have here except that okay let me push this. Okay, good. So in, in the beginning, we believe strongly, irrespective of our different faith, of our different background, that uh, billions of years ago when 
the universe was created, everything was Princeton in nature. There was no pollution whatsoever at all. Of course, things have changed over time, over years, billions of years, millions of years, a lot of things have changed. And what are those things that have changed anyway? The world has gotten more industrialized, okay? That is a, it, definitely good news. But however, a lot of industrialization, urbanization, technological advancement, all these developments as good as they are at, at the expense of one thing, and that is increase in pollution of our water, of our soil, of our air, and as a matter of fact, pollution of almost everything in this world because of the effluence, exhaust from vehicles, from, okay, from generators, from industries. All these eventually will cause one major thing on our bodies. And that is the release of free radicals and other toxins. Many of them have been confirmed to be carcinogenic in nature. So uh, all this again, have caused unprecedented levels of stress on our body as a whole. And every structure in our existence, irrespective of uh, the level of your social structure that you belong to, including poor diet, bad eating habits, and many more have actually affected the levels of our health by generating a lot of free radicals in our body. By the way, what are these free radicals? Free radicals are uh, generated by our everyday activity, even walking, talking, anything we generate free radicals. Free radicals on their own are not necessarily bad. They are not necessarily evil. As a matter of fact, many free radicals that we generate in our body actually subserve one major function, okay? However, the problem is that very often because of the overpowerment of the scavengers, that are mopping up the free radicals, the depletion of these antioxidants, the, the depletion of these scavengers. We often have situations in which the free radicals overpower the free radical scavengers. And so we have a situation that we'll call oxidative stress. The consequences of this, as time goes on, I will let you know. So, but let us look at those things that are generated toxins and other free radicals in, our, in, our, in this world generally. Most of the time we have ultraviolet radiation, okay? Cosmic radiation from outer space, ionizing radiation from so many sources. As a matter of fact, there is almost no radiation that is at the end of the day that they do not have cumulative negative effect, no matter how benign, no matter how small, eventually, cumulatively, they can be deleterious uh, to the body. Effluence, okay, flaring of gases, all this eventually will do one major thing. We eventually affect our chromosome, our DNA, causing damages to them. Over 80,000 chemicals have been synthesized since 1950. As a matter of fact, Almost every year, Environmental Protection Agency receives over 1,500 applications and over 700 new chemicals are added every year. So already these thousands of chemicals that we have. But that, the, the bad news is that less than 10% of all these chemicals have been tested for genotoxicity, which means that out of all these 80,000 chemicals, many of them actually may have deleterious effects on our chromosomes, on our genes, okay? But let's look, now look, do a little bit of uh, uh, elementary biology. Every brain starts with one cell. One cell eventually get, gets to multiple of cells. Multiple of cells will become tissues. Multiple of tissues will become organs and uh, organs will become 
organ system and eventually to the whole organism. There are over, as of today, over 70 trillion of cells, out of which are about 250 cell types. But every cell needs one molecule to survive. Every cell needs one molecule to replicate. Every cell needs one molecule, one major molecule to replicate itself. As a matter of fact, without this molecule, known as glutathione, no cell can survive, okay? We now know confidently that this molecule known as glutathione actually coexists with a lot of proteins within the nucleus, okay? And without this molecule, a cell can never function very well. As a matter of fact, we now use the word glutathione is essential to the survival of the cell. And not just the survival, to the normal, every day, every minute, every second function of every cell. What are the main functions of this glutathione? Where do we find glutathione? By the way, every cell in the human body has glutathione. God has graciously given us this glutathione molecule without the cell. No man, no animal, no plant can actually survive without adequate amount of glutathione. So it's not just enough to have glutathione molecules. No, you should have adequate quantity. There are three major functions of glutathione. The first one that glutathione is an antioxidant. It is the most powerful antioxidant. Natural, we call them endogenous antioxidants. These are antioxidants that are made within the cell. And glutathione happens to be the most powerful, the most in abundance, okay? The most useful of all the antioxidants. I will tell you more about the antioxidant properties of this molecule. We now refer to glutathione as the most critical molecule that you need for perfect. Health. Number two, glutathione regulates the immune system. It does not allow the immune system to overtly overreactive. Neither does it allow it to be underreactive, meaning that it allows your immune system to function perfectly. For example, it allows your immune system to defend your body against invading organisms, viruses, okay, bacteria, and other microbes. As a matter of fact, in during the COVID dispensation, as I normally call it, okay, we found out that those who responded, majority of those who responded very well to the invasion of the COVID agent were actually those who had adequate amount of glutathione. While those who responded poorly, poor, who showed poor prognostic features or who eventually succumbed to COVID, actually majority of these had low levels of glutathione. So it is so important that we have adequate amount of glutathione in our cell. Number three, glutathione is a highly important detoxifier in the body. It binds to toxins, for example, heavy metals like aluminum, cobalt, mercury. It binds to all these metals and other toxins and makes them soluble so that these molecules could agent could actually be excreted either through the liver or through the kidney or sometimes through the skin, all the excretive, all the excretive system in the human body, actually glutathione plays a lot of good functions, great functions for that matter, as a great detoxifier of the whole body as a whole. What are the other benefits of having adequate amount of glutathione? Glutathione guarantees good energy, okay? Athletic performance, okay? either in the boardroom or in the bedroom. It is so important that we know this, that over 11% of the ATP in the human body is used to produce glutathione. On the other hand as well, glutathione helps energy production. As, and let me, I need to explain this a little bit. How does glutathione enhance your energy production? In the process, the powerhouse of every cell, the powerhouse of the human body are uh, organelles known as mitochondria. As mitochondria is producing energy, it is not 100% efficient. A lot of free radicals are released 
in the process of producing ATP in the mitochondria, if these uh, free radicals are left unscavenged, if these free radicals are left to perform their work, you know what they do? They will destroy the mitochondria. And as time goes on, the mitochondria will develop holes. It will not be able to carry out its function. The resultant effect is that the energy level of production will become diminished. It will become reduced. And eventually, once the mitochondria packs up, no energy is produced by that mitochondria. And so it is so critical, so important that we have adequate amount of glutathione to help mop up these toxins. Oh, these free radicals that are continually being released by uh, the mitochondria in performing its daily function. Then glutathione also helps the body to, of confirmation that remove toxins, especially not just in the liver, in the kidney, in the, in the kidney, in, in the skin, virtually every organ of the human body. Glutathione helps in removing toxins. Amazing thing. Glutathione is so critical to the skin. I know a lot of women here, they've seen, they've used a lot of uh, creams uh, that actually have uh, 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 this uh, protein within it, collagen, yes, collagen. A lot of them use as collagen. But guess what? Without adequate amount of glutathione, your collagen that you use will, will be useless. The simple reason is that it's not just that group that it's not just that uh, uh, collagen is good for the skin. It is on oxidized uh, on ox oxidized uh, collagen. Once the collagen fibers, they are protein fibers. Once they are oxidized, they are useless to your body. Okay, so glutathione ensures that your collagen remains in a reduced state. Otherwise, once the protein are oxidized, then it does not perform its function of giving elasticity that your skin actually needs so much. Glutathione also helps in maintenance of good and healthy sleep. The simple reason, to, the medical basis of this is that once a once glutathione molecule is oxidized, it becomes what we call GSSG. How do we get GSSG? Oxidize one molecule of oxidized glutathione and another molecule of oxidized glutathione combines together to form GSSG, that is oxidized glutathione. Funny enough, while other molecules that scavenge free radicals become free radicals themselves after performing their function, glutathione molecule, when it is oxidized, becomes a good sleep promoter. And that is why we don't just talk about reduced glutathione these days. We talk about the ratio of reduced glutathione to oxidized glutathione. So the two are actually important in the human body. One of the major things that glutathione helps the body to do is actually to combat a lot of stress. And over 120 publications, in fact, has reached over 150 publications. If you count the number of our publications now, it is already over 150 publications that we have on glutathione. Where vitamin C can hardly boast of over 50,000. You know, as, as common and as good as vitamin C is, we have more publications actually on glutathione. So this is just talking about the skin. So if your skin is not looking too nice, it may be probably because you actually lack glutathione. It may not be because you don't have collagen. In fact, you get a lot of good collagen in, in your from, from food material okay, that you eat. So when your skin is actually bad, please, it may be glutathione that you actually lack, not collagen, as you may think. This is telling us that uh, while other antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, as good as they are. Yes, they are good free radicals scavenger. up. But guess what? Once they remove free radicals, for example, vitamin C, vitamin C itself becomes a, free, a weak free radical. Dehydroascorbic acid, that is what ascorbic acid becomes. Dehydroascorbic acid is actually a free radical itself. So if you are taking high doses of vitamin C, you may actually be doing more harm than good. But if you have good level of glutathione in, in you, your oxidized vitamin C, the dehydroascorbic acid, it will be helped turn back to the normal vitamin C by the glutathione molecule. So it's always good to have good levels of glutathione in you. In summary, I have summarized this 
way back in 2018 that glutathione is the most powerful antioxidant. It is the acid that replenishes itself. It is the only antioxidant that recycles itself and helps other antioxidants go back to their normal state. The only antioxidant that helps them convert all other antioxidants back to their useful state useful normal state. And that is why we call it the mother of all antioxidants, the gatekeeper of the human body, the great protector of your cell, the super hero of all antioxidants. And the conclusion is that the most critical molecule that you need for good health, for perfect health, is actually glutathione as of today. But it, those are good news. The bad news is that as we age, yes, as you age, by the time you are 20, your glutathione level become, begins to undergo declines. By the time you are 50, you are 60, you are 70, you have lost virtually over half of your glutathione level, okay? And it's become dangerously low at a point. And guess what? By the time you, all this are happening in your body, by the time you are 40, 50, you have lost a lot, something terrible begins to climb up in your body. That is oxidative stress. The free radicals begins the, the, the free radicals, okay, the, the, the powerful oxi oxidants in your body, they literally take over your cell is unfortunate. But that may not be the most important thing to you, but what should be of great importance to you is that something terrible actually accompanies this rise in free radicals taking over your body. And these are chronic disease. Having practiced medicine for the last 35 years of my life, of my career, I don't know of any chronic ailment in this world that has not been associated with low level of glutathione. Okay? Uh, and you would also agree with me that a lot of chronic diseases, I mean, there are so many, over 74 now, hypertension, stroke, uh, diabetes, heart attack, kidney issue, liver issue, a lot of endocrine disorder, including diabetes, all these have been associated with low level of glutathione on account of the reduction that accompanies your aging process, okay? And this has been well documented in, lit in literature. So what are the things that are making your glutathione to, to go down? Because as we age, we become more exposed to stress. We become more exposed to radiation. We become uh, exposed to illness, we become more exposed to pollutants, lack of sleep, poor diet, okay? And all these will easily deplete the store of our glutathione molecules. Cancer is there also have been associated with low level of glutathione. In fact, numerous cancers have been associated, uh, fertility disorders, both in male, both in female, neurodegeneration disorder, oxyma, Parkinson disease, okay, autistic disorder spectrum, all these have been, and so many organic brain syndrome, dementias, all these have been associated with low level of glutathione, o o osteoarthritic dis disorders. I mean, at any point, data are showing us that at any point in time, 85 to 90% of people worldwide actually have issues with their uh, low back, it's meaning that. At any point in time, close to 580 million people are actually having low back pain in this world. Many of these could actually be uh, disorders that are associated with low level of glutathione. Okay, I've, I, uh, this is uh, this is available online. 2008, I enumerated all these that have, have been associated with low level of glutathione. So, as good as glutathione is. Okay, it means that we all need to raise our glutathione level. There's no doubt about that. So a lot of research work has been going on in the past. Some people have come up early enough to say, okay, why don't we manufacture uh, artificial glutathione in the laboratory? Since we know that glutathione is made up of three amino acids, okay? Namely, glutamic acid, Okay, glycine and also cysteine. Since we know them, we know there are three. Why don't you combine them together in the laboratory and then you swallow them? Okay, let me tell you, let me tell you, please. Glutathione is a highly fragile molecule. Just because of the sulfur hydride bond or the thio bomb, as we call it in biochemistry, is very fragile. Okay, and therefore the processes 
of preparation, the processes of digestion, that complex and complicated process would make your glutathione molecule not to be appreciated, to, to get inside your cell because it is easily destroyed within the mouth, okay, by the enzymes, within the stomach by the enzymes, and the acids and intestines by the uh, exams as well. So it means that that oral route is not going to give your cells the much needed glutathione molecules in bio quantity that is able to sustain the functioning of your cell. Okay, some have also tried, let's give injections, okay, to go. But unfortunately, when you give injectables of glutathione, it basically means you are using a synthetic glutathione. And in the process, because you are giving injectables, it bypasses the negative feedback. So you don't even know whether you are giving excess. And that, that may be dangerous in the future to your body. And again, because glutathione has a short half-life, the half-life of glutathione is just about 10 to 11 minutes. You know what? I, if, what that implies, it means you need to be repeating it over and over. You may need to be repeating over five or six times in a week. And thirdly, it is so expensive. So this is not attractive. I won't even recommend it. So the solution eventually came through a senior colleague in Minnesota University in the US. Uh, after 25 years of diligent study, the solution came in what we now know today as ribosine. Yes, ribosine. Ribosine is a combination of a simple sugar known as D-ribose and cysteine. Like I said earlier, okay, the molecular mass of um, glutathione is just a little over 300, okay? A relatively small molecule, okay, containing three amino acids, the uh, glutamic acid, the glycine, and the cysteine. So the glutamic acid, the glycine, amino acid, you have enough in your body. So what these scientists, what they did, led by Professor Abad Nagasawa, after 25 years, okay, once you supply, the theory behind it is that once you are able to supply cysteine, okay, that is not, that we now, by the way, we now regard cysteine as a conditional, okay, conditional, essentially amino acid. What that means is that though uh, sustain is not essential amino acid. Other certain conditions, especially of stress, it becomes uh, an essential amino acid. And let me ask you, who is not under stress in this world? Everybody is under stress. So it, the rate limiting step is actually the addition of, of, of sustain. So once you make sustain available, okay, your cell can then make as many molecules of glutathione. Unfortunately, cysteine is very fragile, as I said earlier, because of the sulfohydride bond. So you need to protect it. The protection that eventually came in form of D-ribose. D-ribose literally combines with condensation, combines with cysteine to form ribocysteine. Ribocysteine then goes in, okay, escaping digestion, okay, because of the addition of D ribose to cysteine. Ribose cysteine, that is the combination of D ribose and cysteine, the, that combination gets inside the cell. Once inside the cell, by the process of solvolysis, okay, they separate into D ribose and into cysteine. D ribose is not useless, please. D ribose is used in making two major things in your body ATP, the currency of energy, and your DNA, okay? So it's not useless. I said, of fact, you need D ribose for your muscles to function very well. The heart muscle, the skeletal muscles, all their functions are dependent on the availability of D ribose. So it's not useless. Even though what we are using it here is actually to protect cysteine so that adequate amount of cysteine can actually get into your body. Okay, again, that cysteine, when the cysteine is available, the cysteine is mobilized together with the other two components of glutathione. And as long as you take ribosine, cysteine is made available, you keep on making as many glutathione molecules as possible. All these are made possible by the research work of 25 years, okay? This is what I've just explained to, to save time. And the first paper, okay, establishing the fact that ribocysteine actually raised glutathione in the body actually came in 1987 the same year I qualified as a young medical doctor, 
Okay, 1987, that is 35 years ago, the first paper came on. This paper is very important, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it. This paper gave us two or three important things. Number one, that once you take ribosin, the blood level of glutathione molecules actually will rise. And this has so, so been confirmed by the research from my own laboratories. Okay, several times that the ribose actually will raise better. Number two is that this also showed us that the glutathione molecules within the liver cell, the hepatocytes, okay, actually the levels of glutathione molecules actually will rise once you take ribosin. Number three is that this was compared, that is the level of rise, the level of ascension of glutathione molecules in the liver cells, secondarily to the taking of the ribose, was compared to NAC. NAC is N acetyl cysteine. It was found out that the rice would get from uh, the taking of ribocysteine is 300% more efficient than taking NAC. So NAC is 300% way down, way, way down. So it's just amazing. And these also have been actually been proved by my own research recently, both in 19, uh, 2018, 2021, and, uh, 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 and many other of my work that you can actually, it's, they're available online for us to actually look at. So, so if you are here today, you want to look at, Maybe you, now you have had all I've said about glutathione and ribosine, and you are quickly dashing to the chemist shop. You say you want to go and get ribosine. You, you may not get it in that form, okay. So what are the forms in which the ribosine is available to you? Number one is through Selgevity. Selgevity is now the most technologically advanced, the most potent, and the most powerful intracellular glutathione and answer in the world. Selgevity contains not only ribosine, it contains ribosine, okay, and 12 other ingredients, ranging from halo to cordyceps. Let's, let's just quickly take a look at some of the components. Resveratrol has been well documented to cross the blood-brain barrier, and this is very important. It means that because it crosses the blood-brain barrier, it actually gives a lot of protection to the brain. And it has been well documented that it helps in the prevention of Alzheimer and other uh, neurodegenerative diseases, for example, um, Parkinson's disease. It also helps in the improvement of elasticity of vessels. Okay, it inhibits spread. It has been also documented that resveratrol. Okay, also helps in the pre in this uh, prevention of the spread of cancer. This is one of the agents that has been added to rib ribosin. The allo 2 is the asthma. By the way, to save time, let me just tell you the three major properties of these 12 agents that have been added to, uh, to ribosin. One is that in their own right, almost all these agents are powerful antioxidants. Okay. Number two is that almost all these agents are powerful anti-inflammatory agents. And by the way, the scientific basis of almost every um, chronic ailment is actually progression of acute inflammatory response to chronic inflammatory response. Number three is that many, over half of these agents have been documented in scientific literature that they are actually anti-carcinogenic in nature, anti-tumor in nature. Turmeric is one of them, okay? Grape seed extract is one of them. All these have been documented. So largely, all these 12 agents, they will not only assist the progression of um, ribosine inside the cell, in their own right, they also uh, work synergistically to help the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, functions of ribosine. So the other feature, the other component is uh, the other uh, agent that we have, or let me say the other supplement that we have ribosine inside is known as max ATP. Max ATP is awesome, energy when needed. What, max, what these writers have done is to have taken together 
all the things, all the molecules, all the irrigants, all the vitamins, all the elements that your body needs to manufacture ATP in your body, they have been added together, natural again, and here you have energy when you need it. You take it in form of sachet, is put it inside a little bit of water and you drink it. It gives you clarity. It helps in prevention of free radicals damaging your cell. It replenishes your body. It, that means it helps in removing fatigue. I would say it helps in your concentration. It, it, that means it also helps it, it, energy when needed, whether in the boardroom, whether in the bedroom, it's energy on the go. Ladies and gentlemen, let me look at, let us look briefly because of time. Uh, Gisen that is there, quercetin. All these have been well documented in literature. By the way, quercetin is now regarded as an anti carcinogenic agent, anti inflammatory. Like I said earlier, most of the agents that we have used actually in their own right, powerful anti inflammatory, powerful anti carcinogenic agent, and powerful anti, uh, 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 anti viral in, in many cases. Okay, um, why am I talking about carnitin? Carnitin, you know what it does? Carnitin allows your body to actually use energy efficiently. So it helps you metabolize uh, fat, okay? This is one agent that you can, you, you should actually combine with uh, our, you can combine with our uh, switch. And the green tea extract gives you natural caffeine, not artificial. Unlike energy drinks that contain synthetic caffeine, okay, synthetic caffeine. All these, so many of these energy drinks can be dangerous to your health, especially affecting your liver, affecting your brain, affecting your heart. Okay, um, this Rodiosa Rosia has come into the limelight recently. In actually, it has been documented in literature again to actually in the beat the progression of uh, cancer. It's just an uh, amazing thing. There are a lot of vitamins, magnesium, copper, all these have been added to our max ATP to make it unique in the world. Another product is max one. Max one is similar to celebrity. What When do I use max one? I use max one when I find somebody who actually reacts Okay, or is, or is sensitive, unusually sensitive, okay, to any of the 12 constituents that have been added to surgery. For example, theoretically, some people may react to cordyceps. Cordyceps is gotten from uh, mushroom. So some people may react to that. In that case, I will use Max1. Another reason, another reason why I will use Max1 is when I want to increase the dose of ribosine because the dose of Max1. Ribosine in Max One is twice the dose of uh, ribosine actually we find in Celgevity. Okay, Max N Fuse is like um, a, a supplement. This is actually a supplement that you need for people who want actually to have a lot of uh, nutrients while not adding extra weight. For example, the nutrients that you get from uh, this sachet actually is, is nutrient that you would have gotten by eating food that would have given you 20,000 calories. It is just amazing. This is just awesome. This is a product, for example, I will also recommend for people who are attempting to lose weight because in the process of losing weight, you may be denying yourself the, uh, good nutrients, okay? Because you don't want to take this, you want to take that. So this is something you can actually add to your weight management system, okay? Uh, Max Enfuse is not only for people who are ill. I take Max Enfuse, okay? You know, most of us these days, we don't have the time, the, the luxury of time to eat seven servings of foods, seven servings of vegetables every day. So we are not taking enough nutrients. For you to take enough nutrients, you need to take Max Enfuse. Then Max 357 Omega Oil, Omega Oils. I call it three piece, premium product with premium source ingredients and offering premium health benefits. Ladies and gentlemen, omega oils have been documented in literature to be amazing thing that you need for the health of your heart or the health of your brain, for the good functioning of your skin, for the good functioning of your eyes. It is something that you need, okay? But let me tell you two unique features 
of Max 357, the Omega oils from Max International. The one is that the features from which Omega 5 and 7 are gotten, are, the, these features are harvested from one of the most pristine areas of the world, from one of the most pristine sea in the world, and that is the Norwegian Sea. Okay, it is an unpolluted area, unpolluted water. But another second important feature of this omega is that while other features were harvested for other companies, they are transported, okay, to the warehouse, from the warehouse to the factory where processing begins. This, the processing of these harvested fishes, of this oil gotten from the harvested fishes, actually begins right in the ship. It is amazing. So the loss of nutrients that often accompanies the transfer of harvested fishes to the warehouse, warehouse to the factory is minimized or completely eliminated in this case. This is a product you also need. Okay, uh, meta switch lastly. Ladies and gentlemen, I am sure you are here today. You've seen or you are yourself, okay? Uh, uh, seen people who have attempted to lose weight, but they have not been able to. Ladies and gentlemen, you have a switch in your body. You have a switch in your body that regulates your metabolism. This switch we, we have now confirmed that it is known as AMPK, adenosine monophosphate kinase enzyme. This enzyme is a complex enzyme. What this switch does is that if this switch is not functioning normally or it is off completely, you are just going to be amassing weight. Instead of you metabolizing your food that you have taken, you will begin to store them largely as fat. So what this product does, it contains natural products that naturally, okay, switches on your metabolic switch to normal level. And by taking this product with the addition of moderation of exercise, moderation of food, you are going to lose weight elderly, elderly. And one of the things that this product uh, actually does is that it reduces the cravings, okay? That often, the cravings that often accompany those who are hobbies or those who have SSS weight, okay? Uh, that it's important to also let you know that this meta switch is stimulant free. Unlike most of the other weight re uh, reduction agents, that are filled with um, uh, stimulants. I must also say here, the weight reduction that you experience in MetaSwitch is weight reduction associated with lipids, with fat. Unlike most other weight reduction systems that actually will not spear your muscles. So you will be in, while other systems, you will lose your muscles, you will also lose your uh, fat. Okay, and the danger in losing muscle is that it could affect your heart muscles. And you can imagine when your heart muscles begin, your heart muscles begin to decline in nature, it gets to a stage, your heart muscle becomes flabby. Then the blood being pumped out cannot sustain the body. And eventually what happens, the heart muscle fails. And this can have a deleterious effect or damaging effect on the body as, as a whole. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, why do you need this? Because some of you are here today, you think I'm only talking to people who are ill. But, oh, for God's sake, I have been taking virtually all these uh, supplements in the last seven years. To be specific, May year 2015. Why am I taking it? I will conclude with this. You see, we have seen that most people in the world are within the comfort zone of health. The, by the way, this is uh, what we call the illness wellness spectrum or the illness wellness continuum, ranging from zero, which is death, to 10, almost perfect health. While most people are here, level four, between four and six, it means that ordinary small Ill ailments can actually push them to three. And God forbid, if that person was in three before, it can push you to zero. And this is one of the reasons you see somebody in the night and tomorrow morning, the person, the person is dead. So it's possible that that person was actually on win four and little ailment, little stress pushes that person to zero. So if you are here today, you are with these supplements that we are talking about, 
maybe severity, you are nine, you are eight, little illness probably will push you to five. It's almost impossible for it to push you almost to zero. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in all things, remember, be cheerful at all times. Amuse yourself. Listen to good music. Enjoy clapping, dance and dance and dance. Thank you and God bless you. Wow, Prof, that was really, really amazing. The, the chat is going wild. So that was so incredible. And I, I hope you have time for a few questions, do you? Because I know your, oh, sure. your information was so loaded. People loved it. And we're so very fortunate. Now I think everyone can see why I was just raving about Professor Oshinabe at the beginning of the call, because you know we are so fortunate to have somebody like him who is so passionate about ribosine, who has done so much of his own research uh, in his university with the students and um, really is incredibly, incredibly knowledgeable about, um, about so much in science, but about ribosine and glutathione in particular. So we're very grateful to you, Prof, for sharing your knowledge so freely and so, uh, so beautifully. We really appreciate you. So we have, um, we have a few questions. Um, one of the questions that I will, I will pose to you, I know this is your area of specialty. Um, one of the questions um, for someone who is diabetic, who's been diabetic for many, many years, is taking uh, multiple shots of insulin um, daily, wh how, what would you say um, would be helpful for that person? And, and would indeed Max products be helpful? I know that you have a very special interest in diabetes. Yes, thank you. I actually do. A special interest. As a matter of fact, my first um, research works were actually done on, on diabetes. Let me tell you straight away that to start with, it is almost impossible for people who have diabetes to have adequate amount of glutathione. And this has been well documented for the simple reason that uh, people who have diabetes actually have raised blood sugar. The raised blood sugar is being converted by an enzyme known as aldose reductase to sorbitol. From sorbitol, okay, uh, it is then co converted to fructose. That enzyme that converts glucose, okay, to sorbitol is known as aldose reductase. That enzyme actually uses up the NADPH. Unfortunately, for some people and for Everybody, all of NADPH is the molecule, is the cofactor that is necessary for the reconversion of oxidized glutathione back to normal glutathione. It means that people who have diabetes are at the risk of having low level of glutathione. Secondly, you see, there are what we call glucose transporters in the human body. Glucose transporter one and glucose transporter four are the commonest. Glucose transporter, transporter one resides within the, the cell membrane, so there's no problem. But they are not, they are in short supply in nature. The glucose transporter four that are more in abundance, they, they reside within this, the cell. So for them to work, they need to be translocated or transported to the cell membrane where they act to convey glucose inside the cell. Unfortunately, the process of translocation of glucose transporter four within the cell to the cell membrane is dependent on the availability of glutathione molecule. So if you don't have adequate amount of glutathione molecule, the translocation or transportation of your, of the gatekeeper in short, the, the guy who is supposed to open the gate for glucose to come in, is not, it's not going to work. And that is why people who have diabetes, actually they need to upgrade or upscale they are glutathione inside the cell. And celgevity is an amazing thing, like I said, that raises blood glucose, that raises, sorry, uh, blood glutathione. Please, intracellular glutathione is what I'm talking about here, intracellular. So it's not glutathione that is coming from the outside. It has been well documented that celgevity is capable with, uh, from previous study, and my own study is capable of raising blood, not just blood glutathione, the cell glutathione, especially within the, we have tested the liver, we have tested the kidney, we have tested uh, the ovary, we have tested the testes in my own laboratory that ribosine will raise 
glutathione tremendously. So this is one thing that I would advise that people who have uh, issue with raised blood sugar should actually use. And again, because of that, what I've just said, raising your glutathione level for people with diabetes, we reduce oh, the dosages of anti-diabetic drugs because it will actually improve insulin sensitivity. Mean that it will, the response of your cells to insulin will actually be an enhanced. Because one of the major things that you have seen in people who have diabetes is that they are losing insulin sensitivity. So the cells are not responding. So such people, you may be bombarding them with anti-diabetic agents, whether oral hypoglycemic agents or insulin, that, and the cells are not responding. And we say the cells are poorly sensitive to insulin. So this is one product that actually will help such people. Thank you. Mm, fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, so now um, I'll just go to the question. So if you've got a question, just type it into the chat or type it into the q and A. I will I will get to all the questions. We'll get to as many as we can. Um, Phyllis asks, is it possible to get Celgevity syrup for the elderly who cannot swallow a capsule? Okay. Well, well for now, what, what, what I do, you see, you can actually, let me tell you one thing again about this product, which I did time enough, I'm today. The capsules of our product are actually vegetable in nature. If, if you put a generic capsulated agent, maybe a combination of any, most of the other drugs, if you put them in your mouth, they will be there permanently for hours. But if you put Sergevity capsule or Max 1 in your mouth, it will melt. Okay, so it's vegetable in nature. It will melt. Within less than a minute, it will melt. So it, they can use. Another thing you can do, you can actually empty the capsule. Okay, in the worst scenario, okay, empty the capsule in, into water or into any liquid that you so desire and you, you are good to go, please. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I often recommend for people who won't take pills. They can just put it into some small bit of juice or even a small bit of food, a yogurt or something, um, porridge, just something small to take it. It's fine. So um, we have a question. Is it helpful for an arthritis patient? Ladies and gentlemen, my last, uh, my last paper published in the... One of the journals is available online. Please, you can check. It's, uh, we compare this pro, we compare Celgevity, especially with another product. We destroy the intervertebral discs of animals and we place them on these animals on Celgevity. We saw the increase in replication of chondrocyte like cells that actually, that we believe they are the ones that are. are actually giving back to the manufacturing of the cells that helps your intervertebral discs to function, okay? So it, it, I have no doubt that it will help people who have arthritis. Because one of the major things you have seen in arthritis is the loss of the, whether you are talking of osteoarthritis that is affecting the spine, or you are talking of arthritis, the, the pathogenesis is about the same, destruction of the disc. Okay, which you can actually improve. One of the major things that actually destroy this are, are free radicals. So you can mop these free radicals up actually by using um, any uh, Celgevity Max 1. It will really help. Because it will raise the glutathione level, and this glutathione will actually mop up the uh, scavenge, they will scavenge the free radicals and can help you. Just like it, it helps the, uh, the subjects that we use in our experiment. This is also available. You can just Google in Celgevity and intervertebral disc. It's available online free. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. So we have a question about pregnant women and our nursing mothers. What, what can they take? Can they take Celgevity? Can they take Max 1? Can they take Switch? What can they take? Yes. I would so far, I don't know of any study that has come out in humans. For Presently, there is no study in humans that has been released, published yet. But we, my team has done some work on pregnant diabetic animals, and we have found no damaging effect. However, please, we do not recommend any of this product for pregnant or nursing mother. It's not because 
it is harmful to them, it is simply because we don't have data to back it up. So we want to avoid it. Thank Beautiful. You. And, and then there's a, there's a similar question for children, particularly a two-year-old child with epilepsy. Okay. Uh, to start with, it's not just about, there are three major things that, uh, three major health conditions that uh, raising the glutathione has been well documented for in children. For example, autistic disorder spectrum, number one, um, epilepsy that you have just mentioned, okay, and sickle cell anemia. Of course, we know all these three actually affect a lot of uh, children. Unfortunately, we do not prescribe this product for very young people. However, in agreement with the medical doctor, with the specialist treating, you, you may want to use uh, pure ribosine, and that is max one, that does not contain any other thing except ribosine you may give it a try. It, for example, it is well documented, like I've just said, do you know why the brain is unusually prone to free radicals? The, the two major things that you need for free radicals to damage, to begin their work, is, is availability of oxygen. The brain, even though it's 2% of the human body, it, it, is being sub, it consumes 20% of the oxygen in the human body. So you have oxygen, and because you have a lot of cells in the brain, you, you have a lot of um, polyunsaturated fatty acids, okay? Where you have those two things, free radical damage, lipid perodation take place. So if, uh, of course, by raising the glutathione will help those children. You, I would suggest in conjunction again with your medical doctor, with your caregiver, Max One will help. Thank you. Great. Um, so we have quite a few questions about, uh, about um, specific issues. And I know at some point you'll probably just give a generic, uh, generic recommendation. So a question that will go along with the children's question that you just answered, um, what products would be good for an autistic, an autistic, uh, autistic 14 year old child and a four year old child in autism? Yes, straight away for, an autistic 14 year old, I will place, I will add um, Max One for that patient. 14 year old, I will do it. I, Abraham Moshinobi, will do it. We had, because, you see, the, as I speak, please Google now, now, you will find that one of the major things, problem that we see in autistic children is low level of glutathione. Just like we also have it in Parkinsonism. As a matter of fact, we now know categorically before you begin to see symptoms physical symptoms, okay? Before even you look under the microscope to see the generation of the dopaminergic neurons in the midbrain in Parkinson's disease. What erodes actually the coming of Parkinson's disease is low level of glutathione. This has been well documented in literature. So if I have an autistic child that is 14 year old, I will place that patient, I will place that person on, on, on max one. However, if less than 12, please, you need to consult your doctor. Okay, you need to consult your doctor. You need to, de de that decision largely lies between you and the medical personnel. But raising your glutathione in even a two year old autistic child would definitely help. That, the studies have been do well documented already. Thank you. Beautiful. And then we have a question about infertility and um, could Max products help with conception? I know you've done some research in this area as well. I've done a lot of work on this. Ladies and gentlemen, the sperm cells are unusually prone to free radical damage. The middle piece of the sperm cell has a lot of mitochondria. Okay, mitochondria produces, uh, mitochondria cells, they produce ATP. In the process of producing ATP, they also produce a lot of free radicals. And secondly, because there are a lot of mitochondria cells, you have a lot of polyunsaturated fatty acid. So it means that they are easily prone to free radical damage. So all what you, in fact, a lot of in, in, uh, IVF centers, do you know what, sometimes, uh, very often, a lot of them actually are, are to ensure that the free radicals are actually removed by the usage of 
by raising the glutathione level. So it will definitely help. And also, I've done a lot of work on the ovary. Okay, we have found that, that a lot of damages uh, uh, on in terms of infertility cases are actually by free radicals. And you can actually reduce this damage by supplying uh, by en enhancing the glutathione mole molecules for this organ. So it will definitely help. And I've seen a lot of people who, who it has helped already in, in this area. So there is no doubt. Thank you. Good. So I'm going to bucket these two questions because the answer will be similar. So I have um, someone asking about cancer and someone asking about um, malaria. If someone is suffering from malaria on antibiotic drugs, can they take Celgevity? And then someone asking about can Max products be used with cancer? So I know those two can kind of go together. So I will let you take those together. Oh, th thank you. You see, oh, let me take malaria. We some many anti-malarials. Do you know how they work? Okay, they, let me. If I, as simple as vitamin C, as simple as other antioxidants, you may not want to use them together with certain anti-malarials, especially if they are atomizing base. Be, because most of many of these anti-malarials, the way they work, just like cancer can, anti-cancer agent, is to supply free radicals. So if you are them mopping up the free radicals, theoretically, you may not give the necessary impetus, the necessary permission for the uh, anti-malaria to actually do their work and remove the parasite, to kill the parasite. Because they use free radicals in killing the parasite. And then you are using, uh, theoretically, you are also scavenging these free radicals. So theoretically, you may not allow uh, the anti-malaria to work. It's the same thing with uh, cancer, cancer. Even though I've said clearly, as studies have shown, that raising glutathione level and many of the components, many of the components of surgivity are anti-cancer. However, when people have developed cancer, we advise, please stop these antioxidants. Stop uh, our max product. 48 hours before, especially when they are on or chemotherapy or retherapy or 48 hours after. However, what I've told you is theoretical. Some, some authors have quoted, and it's available online, that cancer cells are not able to actually bio-uptake natural glutathione. Bio-uptake natural Don't forget that uh, surgivity does not contain glutathione. So meaning that what surgivity promotes is the manufacture or synthesis of natural glutathione. But however, to stay on the side of caution, please oh, do not take a supplements when a patient is going for radio, is on radiotherapy or is on chemotherapy. These are theoretical things. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Then um, we have a question, just a quick follow on from Parkinson's. You mentioned Parkinson's. What would you recommend for a man of 60 years uh, in terms of what products he should take for Parkinson's? For patient with on Parkinson, I, I, Abraham, will place the patient on whatever drugs that we use. So I won't go into that. I will want to raise the glutathione level because again, it has been well documented that one of the major things that you see in Parkinson's disease is actually low level of glutathione. I will place that patient on cell gravity, two in the morning, two in the evening, and then I will add uh, max one, one daily. Okay, and of course, over six, every three to six months, I will monitor the glutathione level. By the way, you can actually monitor glutathione level. Okay, you can actually do it. But let me also tell you, Chris, that we are not likely to have too much of glutathione taking our product. Let me explain that scientifically. You see, in the glutathione is synthesized naturally within the rough endoplasmic reticulum after the synthesis is passed in, passed on, or siphoned or cisterned into Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus then packages. Okay, then labels and then send for export to where I needed. It means that if it is not needed, okay, your ribosine sits inside your cells 
unlike taking artificial or injectables, it bypasses this negative feedback mechanism. So the body is endowed with natural negative feedback mechanism to stop synthesis of your surgivity. That is even, even if you are not able to actually monitor or assay your glutathione level. So it's almost impossible at this normal dose that I've recommended for you to ever have too much of glutathione in your body. Almost impossible, almost. Thank you. Good. So we had a question. It's a bit of a follow-on from the epilepsy, but maybe for adults as well. So can Max 1 or Celgevity prevent seizure attacks? Ladies and gentlemen, this, none of this product is supposed to replace any product. For example, if, you, if your doctor has placed you on Tegritol for epilepsy, and because of what I've just said is associated, no, 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 please, you don't stop your Tegritol. If your doctor decides to stop it, good, okay? It's not supposed, it's supposed to be adjuvant. It's as the name implies, it's a supplement. It's supposed to assist. We are not promoting this, any of this product as a replacement for, your, for what your doctor please has given to you. And anyway, most of you here are not even medical doctors, so you are not qualified to prescribe. Thank you. Great. And you know, it's very important because a lot of people are asking questions. We really need to be careful that we don't start acting like doctors. All we ever say is, of course, you work with your doctor for your healthcare needs and commit to Max products for 90 days, try and see. Celgevity is usually the answer for 95% of people because it is our flagship product. It is the thing that will raise glutathione in the cells. If you have a young child who has a health issue and the doctors, the parents agree, then perhaps Max One, but otherwise, Celgevity is going to be your baseline product. And then depending on affordability, they can consider adding other products like Max 357 or other things. So, you know, it makes it very simple. Commit for 90 days, try and see. And all I ever say is we've had many, many wonderful stories with our Max products. You know, we, we believe it will, it will help. It helps many people with your issue. Just commit for 90 days, try and see. Because of course, every one of us is different. So don't try and get into prescribing. Don't try and get into um, heavy details about that. Um, we have a question, uh, Prof, and I know this, this one comes up quite a bit. Um, can a 12-year-old take MetaSwitch? Yes. You see, in medicine, in medicine, actually, we consider adults, okay, from uh, the age of 12. Normal, very often, the doses that we give, even though we base it on weight, and I'm sure the person, if you say a 12 year old now, as the case may be, may actually be even more than this, uh, uh, the proverbial 72 kg adult weight. So a 12 year old will, can conf confidently uh, be placed on a meta suite. And please, again, in conjunction, you must let your medical uh, expert, professional, your uh, caregiver actually know, know this. Thank you. Beautiful, excellent. Um, here's, here's a good one. This is one that will be popular for a lot of people. So I'll let Prof answer it um, because a lot of people will have this question. What product can a man use when he's having problem with manpower is the question. Good. To, to start with, you must, we want to know what is the cause. It means that some tests have been carried out to know whether there is a structural cause, okay? But I will also tell you that a lot of um, erectile, many erectile dysfunction cases are uh, psychological, mental in nature, meaning that state of the mood is so important. So one of the things that you can actually use here is cell, you can add to whatever your doctor has prescribed, Celgevity and Max ATP. Okay, these two can, will really help because it will supply you one, your, your mental state to achieve more balance in nature. And then it will also supply the needed boost in terms of physical energy that you need. So it is important that we get it. And also um, many of the ailments that I, like I said, I said it here that sometimes as well, because the sperm cells are unusually, okay, prone to uh, free radical damage, you can actually help. Please note very well, 
I know what you are talking about very well. It has been estimated that between 40 to 60 percent of male of reproductive age as actually suffer for erectile dysfunction at one point or the other in their in, in their life. So it's something very important, and we should talk, we can we should be able to talk about it. Is so that many men are not bold enough, many men are not courageous enough to come out openly. And I thank you for asking me. So in short, Sergevity and Max CTP will help uh, many of these people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have so many wonderful results. So, you know, just, just give it a try and see what it will do for you. This is an interesting one, Prof. I've certainly seen this. I know what I would answer. I'm going to ask you the question. So we have um, Bernard mentioning that um, after someone's been using Celgevity for some time, they seem to be losing weight. And he wants to know, does it work the same as MetaSwitch? Okay, thank you. You see, most of the time, people can actually be hiding weight because they are storing a lot of toxins in the human body. So one of the things that sexuality does is actually to help you remove your toxin. And in the process of removing your toxins, you are able to metabolize better. And when you metabolize better, you are going to likely achieve, I won't call it weight reduction. You are just metabolizing normally. And when you metabolize normally, you are taking in about 2,000 calories every day. You are likely to burn 2,000 calories every day because your switch, your normal switch is working perfectly. And the AMPK, I didn't know see monophosphate kinase switch is working perfectly. So it can, as a matter of fact, when I also tell people to take a meta switch, I, if they can afford it, they should also have ATP, they should also have um, sensitivity. It's so important. Okay, that's the that's the mechanism by which it causes. Uh, not that you are really, you are actually re losing weight. It's just because you are metabolizing well, and enhancing the removal of toxins from the human body. By the way, the fat cells, the fat cells in the human body, they store a lot of toxins, and that is why it is so important that uh, you lose weight gradually. You don't lose weight. I mean, acutely. Acute weight loss can release a lot of toxins into circulation. It can cause cardiovascular collapse. And if it is so too drastic, the person may just die in the process. And that is one thing good about sensitivity and good about uh, meta switch, that the weight reduction is actually elderly. You know, I, I always mention that. Healthy weight loss is different from unhealthy weight loss. You may lose weight too, if you lose weight too drastically, you may end up, um, uh, with mortality. Thank you. So someone is asking about um, how to monitor glutathione levels in the body and really is it is it necessary? I will tell you straight away it is uh, not necessary. It is not necessary. The simple reason, but I do it a lot in my animals, okay, because I'm doing it for research purposes. One is that you know where you belong. Just look at that graph that I show you. If you are not on any intracellular glutathione and answer, you should know where you belong. You saw from 20, draw from 20, okay, almost IS going down. By the time you are 90, you are almost at zero. So if you are, uh, you, you are about 70, just, it's, 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 you are definitely like not on, definitely unlikely to have normal levels of glutathione. And moreover, in, it has been estimated that if you want to do a proper glutathione assay, you may end up spending about $100. Uh, so why do you need to spend your money on $100 and assessing it? And anyway, by the way, glutathione half-life is just 10, it's just 10 to 11 minutes. It means that you need to be checking it every now and then. Every, every 10, 10 minutes, it will change. So it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. And it is light dependent, so it doesn't make sense. But for research purpose, I do it a lot in my animals. Good, thank you very much, Prof. These are the last two questions. Uh, we will have this call recorded. These are the last two questions. I'll combine them together. Um, so Phyllis asks, if someone is 82 years old with dementia, diabetes, and hypertension, Will Celgevity help, especially on dementia? And what is the dosage? And then the other question is, can Celgevity help someone with restless feet and groin pain? Uh, so the, the first, first, is, the, the first person, I will put that person on my axon on account of the age. 
I will put him or her on max one. I don't want other components because usually when I see such people, they would have tried so many supplements. They have in their houses bags of vitamin C, bags of alpha lipoic acid, bags of aloe vera. So they are already on those ones. So what most of them actually lack is they, they don't have the ribosine. Well, some are because ribosine is exclusive to Max International. So you can't have that. That I know you can't have. So I will put such people on Max One on account of age because the person may, so that I don't overdose the person probably has been on selenium product already or zinc or, 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 or other agents. But however, if it is a nascent issue, that person has not been on any other supplement, I will use longevity and Max One because I want very high dose of uh, ribosine. So I will add max one. I will use LGV2 two, two in the morning, two in the evening. Then I will add one max one in the morning, one max one in the evening. I can, de depending on the response, I can raise the max one as time goes on to two and two, two. Great. And then the other one uh, is the restless feet and groin pain. Restless? Restless feet and groin pain. Well, the important, if you're having pains, I must know as a medical doctor, why are you having the pain? What is causing the pain? We must do some tests first of all. You see your doctor first to know whether you have hypertension, you have diabetes or any other health conditions. Having done all this and you cannot pinpoint, your doctor cannot pinpoint what is the cause. You, it's high time you then tried uh, surgery. Even if the cause is known, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know of any chronic ailment in this world that is not associated with inflammation, chronic inflammation. And to combat chronic inflammation, you need to raise your glutathione level. So such patient, I will place on either Selgevity or Max1 or D2. Thank you. Beautiful. So we have run out of time. I know we could be asking questions all night long and I'm so, so happy. Prof, that you are with us tonight. Let's show Professor Oshinabi some love in the chat. Um, let's really, really appreciate him. I will let you know, um, we will share this recording and uh, as long as Prof permits it. And then um, on, if you're in the Kenya market on Saturday, we will have a, a, an in-person event to share the products and the business opportunity in the Max Nairobi office at 3 p.m. on Saturday. For those who cannot be in Nairobi and you're still in Kenya, we will have a, an online event on Sunday night by 8 p.m. East Africa time to share the products and the business. Because of course, today we spoke very specifically about the science particularly and the, the detailed components of each product. But on Saturday and Sunday, we'll share more details just generally about the products. Keep it very simple. We'll share how the business works. And so those of you who want to get started in the business, you'll have the chance to do that. If you've liked what you heard, you just want to get back to the person that, that invited you to this program. Let them know you're excited. Let them know you're ready to get started. You know, here in the Kenya market, we are going to be growing very quickly. We literally just launched and we are just getting started. There's the whole of East Africa to move through. There is so much opportunity to really make an impact with these incredible products. And if you're in doubt, if you're wondering, you know, number one, the safe thing to say is commit for 90 days, try and see. Don't try and be medical. Don't try and diagnose if you are not. Now, if you really have a question and you're unsure, of course, guide the person to their own medical doctor. And secondly, you can certainly ask any questions in your team. There will always be a medical doctor or someone to reach out to who can reach one of our medical doctors who can answer your question. Okay, that's the beautiful thing about Max. Because we have so much incredible science, we have many thousands of medical doctors who are involved with us. And so um, you will always have answers available to you. So we really, really appreciate you for being here tonight. Thank you for sticking with us. Uh, we ended up with more people at the end than we even had on the first part of the call. So I know that everyone is very, very engaged with Professor Oshinabe's 
amazing lecture, his fantastic content. And Prof, thank you tonight for, for all you've done. Thank you for staying with us for so long and answering every single question. I know we might have a few more coming in, but um, we can't keep everyone here all night. So um, let's appreciate. Thank you once again, Prof. We, we really, really um, appreciate you for your time. Yes. So everyone have an amazing, amazing night. Okay. Bye.